The movie opens in a police station with showing a man named Bo waking up in a cell he woke up with no memory of how he got there or who he is after waking up he pick out one of the bricks from the wall and takes a look outside. He see everything as a mess out there and seems like a big war is happening. And then he started calling for help through the hole while he is shouting for help. A woman named Nadia who is in the cell besides his tells him to stop or they will get killed. When Bo asks her where they are she tells they are in Nauru which is in Kenya. Nadia senses that he is pretty confused and asks what his name is to which he says he don't know when Bo asks who she is. Nadia tells she is a doctor. Then suddenly the ground started shaking and the electricity starts to out search. Then Bo sees something moving outside through the gap and asks Nadia what it is. Nadia asks him if he doesn't remember about the invasion. Then Bo hears some voices from outside and he keeps calling for help. Nadia tells him to shut up by saying if someone heard him they will be killed. When she sends someone is approaching she picks up a broken glass then they see some men entering into the police station the gang's leader approaches them and he asks Nadia he wants to know who she works for and he decides to kill both of them. When one of them opens the cell of Bo he starts to attack them while fighting them. He goes out through breaking the window after getting out one of them tries to use a taser on him but Bo stops it with his hand and taser backfires on the other guy. He then sees a strange advanced robot approaching him. Bo runs away to escape and hides himself in a broken car. The robot looks for him and goes away when it couldn't find him back at the police station. When the gang leader tries to force himself on Nadia she stabs him with the broken glass she picked up earlier and kills the other guy with a gun when she tries to escape. The gang leader presses her against the wall, but Nadia pulls out a brick and slams him with it and then shoots him to death. When she looks back she sees Bo comes to assist her when Nadia asks him if he came to help her Bo says yes. Then Nadia introduces herself and since Bo couldn't remember his name she sees the torn name tag on his shoulder and says she will call him Bo later they pick the weapons they found on the gang members and Bo decides to go to the army base and says it should be safe there. But Nadia tells him that nowhere is safe. Later they go out and finds broken cars and decides to find and use one of them which is in a good condition. She tells the U.S. Army bases up north and tells that she doesn't know how far it is. When he asked her, and she tells that after getting there all he will find is a bunch of dead bodies. When Bo tells there might even be people hiding in the bunker and trying to contact the Pentagon. Nadia tells him that eight days ago every single one of the satellites fell out of the sky and there nothing Pentagon could do anymore but Bo says he is not ready to quit and still insists to go to the military base and tells her to follow him or do whatever she wants. He decides to use the car and stick to the road since the towns aren't safe. After searching for a while Bo finds a car that is in going condition which needs only a tire change. And he shows her the satellite phone that he found in the car. Meanwhile Nadia goes to check the other cars to find some food and water. Then while looking at his face in the mirror Bo gets some flashes of his memories. After getting everything ready they sets off to go to the base on the way. Bo compliments her saying that she uses gun pretty well for a doctor. And Nadia tells she used to work as a doctor for the French army while they are talking their car gets shot and they crashes in Nadia notices them as Kenyan soldiers and they gets out of the car slowly and puts their hands in air. Nadia tells them she is a doctor and Bo is a US soldier who is escorting her to the border but the soldier tells her there is no military anymore and demands them to give the water and food they had. Then one of the soldier notices a tattoo on Bo's hand and keeps saying dish when soldiers are about to attack them Bo quickly reacts and kills them all leaving their captain and a female soldier. Bo then asks the man what this symbol means. He then tells it means the American radio station and there are big satellite dishes with that symbol and tells it is 500 kilometers to west. Then Bo asks why they tried to attack him seeing this symbol. He tells people believe that Americans made those robots and using the dishes to call them and says even after everything fell apart those dishes are still standing later. Bo and Nadia takes the soldier's jeep and drives off to the radio station later. Nadia assumes that he belongs to special forces depending on his combat skills and since he can speak many languages she then asks what if the people at the radio station are bad guys like the men said earlier Bo tells that then they have to kill them after traveling for a while day reaches a town and they decides to pass through since there is no other way after getting in they notices that the electricity is surging out of the wires and says the robots are near they start to drive when they see one of them following and soon due to the robot the car gets sorted out and it stops they gets out and keeps running until they find a place to hide then they see one of the robots as going after a little girl and her father it kills her father and when about to kill the girl Nadia tries to distract it 
it by firing a bullet but it's too late. The girl gets killed when she fires the bullet. The robot comes out to check over and after not finding them who hid under the ruins it goes away later that night while they are camping out they talk about themselves. While talking they see fighter jets moving across the sky. Then Bo reminds her there is someone still fighting out there and tells they haven't lost yet. The next day they continue their journey to the radio station by walk. After walking for a while they find a small town and goes towards it. After getting near the ruined town they hear a transmission and goes towards it but turns out it is a trap and soon men surrounds them with guns and outnumbered them. The men take Bo of them as hostages. They ties Bo and Nadia to a broken truck to use them as a bait. Then they see two bikers approaching them by luring the robots to their direction. When the robots approaches them the men are waiting for the robots to arrive there. After a robot gets there it scans Bo and soon the men starts a shootout on the robot. And finally they manages to destroy the robot. But soon another robot arrives to the scene and it starts to shoot back. The men tries to destroy it by defending themselves. But the robot kills one by one and then another robot comes from behind to assist while this is happening. Bo manages to free himself and runs away by taking Nadia. Later they get safe after a guy starts escaping on a bike and the robot keeps following him. They continue their journey and the next day when they reach a bridge Bo sees son is blinding from down and points his gun towards the man. But after noticing he is no harm they both gets near him. Turns out he is just a photographer and the glint is from his camera lens. Nadia offers to treat him saying she is a doctor but the man tells her she is too late and says he will die if they remove the bandages and he tells them he is taking the pictures since the alien ship came down to earth. He shows them all the pictures and videos including a boy facing off a giant and tells they have to make it reach to the people to make raise hope in them. And he think that is why God sent them to him. After sensing the robots or approaching them they take the man into an old warehouse to hide out. After getting there he tells he came from the dishes saying he is taking pictures since then and tells the camera will lead them to the place. But he asks them to kill him before taking the camera cause he couldn't bear the pain anymore. Bo refuses to do so but when he begs them to kill him him Nadia chokes him to death and kills him. They pick up the camera and starts to follow the sequence of pictures that are in the camera. They continue their journey to the radio station and soon the camera runs out of battery after reaching a small village then opens a garage door and finds a car which is working fine in it. They both get into the car and continues to go to the radio station when they are just 67 kilometers away from the radio station. The car slowly starts to run down after the car stops. They get down and finds a destroyed robot near them but they soon notices a whole swarm of robots are approaching them from afar. Seeing this they quickly gets into the car they are going as fast as they can. But since there are too many robots and are catching up to them they stop at a nearby house and runs into it to take cover. They gets into the basement and hides there, but the ship arrives there and starts to pull up everything. The ship pulls up Nadia and scans Bo and leaves him behind. After waking up Bo finds his leg got injured and tends to the wound. The next day he still continues his journey to the radio station and finally able to reach the dishes. But after getting there he is surprised to see everything there is destroyed. He picks up a gun and see a city far from him. He walked towards the city and the city seems completely ruined. He falls to a side after being exhausted. He then sees some people who are fighting with robots and knocks out a robot with a single strike. The man tries to get to Bow but stops when they see some tiny robots approaching him. The tiny robots gets to Bo and leaves after scanning him later Bo wakes up in a refugee camp and he is getting treated. Then a woman called Kara and man named Juma gets to him tells they are the ones that bought him here. They gets introduced to one another and also tells about this place. Bo then tells everything he remembers about him and also all the things that happened until now. After hearing all this Kara asks him when the ship took his friend why didn't they take him? They get puzzled about this and they take Bo to see a man named Roderick. Roderick is an army engineer who is building some weapons to able to destroy the robots. They introduce his Bo to him. Bo looks at the weapon Roderick is building and Roderick tell him it is a weapon and tells they just got the frequency right yesterday. He tells it can destroy the whole ship with a single burst. But the problem is the ship has to get lower enough to reach the frequency. Then Caro tells Roderick that the ship took Nadia and left Bao Bao then takes a look at the picture 
pictures of the robots and remembers some memories while he is fighting with the robots. When he ran out of bullets a robot approaches him and instead of killing it inserts some wires into him and implants a track inside his spine. Then he tells them all about the tracker. They put in him saying that he is the one that lead them here. Kara draws her gun onto Bo to kill him. Bo then tells them that he can help them saying he is the only one that can get the M weapon under the ship. They agree to his plan and they all prepare to fight with the invaders later they all prepare a plan to get the M through the tunnel and get it to under the ship close enough. But after using it the ship fall of and everything gets destroyed. When worries about the people and the ship Roderick tells him to worry about the people on the ground since they are the only ones left after everything has got wiped out they all gear up and walk through the tunnel to get the EP to the ship. But the robot soon catches up to them after getting shot Kara decides to stay behind to hold them giving the others some time, everyone else moves on and Carrie uses the grenade to blast them off. After getting to the place they see that people are all surrounded by the robots and the ship is there to pull them up. They see this and decides to move the people away cause they have to use MMP directly under it. Bo sneaks from behind and throws a grenade onto one off the robots and soon people starts to escape from there and Roderick and his men are bringing the EMP weapon but they get shot by the robot and it affects the weapon after he activated the weapon the battery gets damaged. Bo then notices the electricity is surging through a fallen robot into him due to the implant in him. Roderick then pulls the weapon near him and uses himself as a medium to launch a weapon. Soon the weapon gets activated and it generates a huge MP burst. After getting hit by it the ship gets destroyed and all the robots went down later. Bo wakes up with getting all his memories back when Roderick and the others asks him what his name as he tells them he wants to go with Bo. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like it and subscribe the channel and also click the bell icon to receive new video notifications.